Hi here, Finn's here. I'm back for another video today. Now, um, I'm going to be talking about uh, the results of the second semi-final in Eurovision, and also it's the big one, the grand final on Saturday. I'm talking about the grand final of Eurovision, um, the running order, and who I think might win. Uh, let's but we'll come back to the grand final, but let's talk about the semi-finals first. Um, uh, so I'll keep it brief because I don't have a lot of time in this video to talk about it, so I'm going to keep it quite brief. These are the ten countries who qualified for Saturday's grand final in this order. They were Serbia, Moldova, Hungary, Ukraine, Sweden, Australia, Norway, Denmark, Slovenia, and the Netherlands. That means we had to lose eight countries as well. They were San Marino, Montenegro, uh, Georgia, Malta, um, Romania, Russia, that's Poland, and that's it, I think. Yeah. I think that's eight, isn't it? No. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, um, Poland, Malta, Russia, Romania, Georgia, um, Montenegro, San Marino. Oh, did I miss one out? Did I miss one out? Oh, and Latvia, that was the other one. So those eight countries are gone. We had to say bye bye to them. Um, so I got, by the way, I, yeah, again, I got eight out of ten right. <laughs> I'm actually quite good at these predictions after all. So, out of the two semi finals, 20 country. No. Out of the. Um, so, out of the 20 that got through their semi finals, I think countries did. I actually guessed um, 16 out of 20 overall, so that's not bad. Oh, way over half. Um, so let's just talk about the second semi-final. My favourite was from the night with Australia. I really like Jessica Melboy's song. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Ukraine I actually quite liked. What others? Um, that's it. No. Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Australia, Ukraine, I was quite pleased to see. Denmark was a grow on me. Sweden I quite like. Um, the countries I wish qualified were, I really like Malta's song, it looked very expensive um, on stage and it had a good issue, a message about mental illness. So I know not many people liked the song but I liked it, I'm sad it didn't get through and I was surprised Poland didn't get through, I really thought um, this had a Vinci's vibes and obviously he passed away just a few weeks ago which is very sad to lose a Vinci. Obviously you've seen an, another video of mine. I really am gonna we've we are gonna miss we are missing a Vinci. I really thought more votes would come in for that. If I had to replace uh replace two countries to, to make um if I probably put Poland Malta through and I would probably replace Serbia and Slovenia. I'm on the vents for Slovenia because there is that um, glitch that happens in the middle of it which is they do that on purpose. I don't know if they're going to continue with that in the grand final or not but I'm on the fence about that. It's a bit cringy but it's a good song Slovenia. I was just a bit on the fence for that. Um, but the surprise also for Russia and Romania they have 100% qualification until now because this is the first time ever that Russia and Romania have failed to qualify for Saturday's grand final alongside Azerbaijan from the first semi-final who also failed to qualify for the very first time in Eurovision uh, but bearing in mind Russia I kind of think the vocals weren't good don't get me wrong I think Julia is an inspiration to sing in a wheelchair disability doesn't matter but on the night I don't think the vocals were actually quite good and for some reason she didn't really want to sing high notes, it's like she let all her backing singers sing the high note. Oh, my voice is going. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I need, should have got some water. Um, so yeah, that was the second semi-final. So let's talk about the grand final. Yes, the big one. Uh, 26 countries are competing 
on um, Saturday nights, and the running the running order came out today, and and this is the order that these twenty six countries will get to sing their song. So so this is the order. They are they will be performed in. Ukraine, Spain, Slovenia, Lithuania, Austria, Estonia, Norway, Portugal, United Kingdom, Serbia, um, Germany, Albania, France, Czech Republic, Denmark, Australia, Finland, Bel Bulgaria, Moldova, Sweden, Hungary, Israel, the Netherlands, Ireland, Cyprus and Italy. <laughs> so yes, what do I think of the running order? Um, in my opinion, I think the second half is better than the first half. I think there are just better songs, in my opinion. Uh, but the, the, the first half is not too bad. Um, I kind of knew Ukraine was going to be performing first because usually, what the the, the producers of the Eurovision usually, um, usually the last song, if it qualifies, which it did, usually, um, what they usually do is like. The last song that performs on the second semi-final and qualifies, gets through, um, usually is first on the grand final. And we saw that with Israel last year, and we saw it with Belgium the year before that. Sad Belgium didn't get through. Um, <laughs> and it happened with it's happened in Ukraine, so I wasn't a big surprise. Also, there's also mentioning that I'm no. Now, bearing in mind that no country has ever won in the second position, nobody probably wanted to come second, but somebody did. And, now, feel sorry for Spain, because they will be performing in the second semi... No, not the second semi final. the second... The, they will be performing in second in the grand final. It had to be a, one of the countries... I feel quite sad for Spain, because now they are going to be performing in... A second position which nobody has ever won. So I do feel sorry for those two, but at least it wasn't the UK. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of good countries performing near the end. Cyprus second to last. Italy is, is Italy is the country that is going to be formed last in the twenty sixth position, which I'm kind of surprised by because usually the producers usually pick like a song that is. Um, um, like a song that usually goes out with, usually the, it starts with bang, then ends with bang, but this time it's a kind of unusual decision, Italy. I don't know if it is compulsory to put one of the big five countries in last, but it's kind of, kind of weird, isn't it? It's, it's just unusual because it's not kind of song you would probably want to hear last. Don't tell me wrong, it's a good song. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect it to perform last on the night. I think that's what they... I don't know, in 2016 it was Armenia that performed last. So yeah, I, I don't know if it's compulsory now that a country from the Big Five has to uh, perform last. Uh, but Italy are doing that this year. So obviously I'm going to be talking now about the UK, the United Kingdom, Surrey Song Storm. And look what I've got here. I've got my own Union Jack flag. This took me a whole hour to make on Tuesday. So I'll be waving the flag to the UK tomorrow night. Um, Surrey. Now she will be performing in ninth place. Which actually, if you think about it, it's not actually a bad place. You've got it's between two kind of slow songs. Um, Portugal and Serbia. Portugal before uh, it, and then Serbia after. So actually, and also there will be a break before the UK will perform, which I think is kind of good. Oh, I really hope the best for Surrey on Saturday. I really do. Um, because you know what? It's not the jury vote I'm most worried about. Usually the juries are very kind to the UK. It's just the televote that I'm just so worried about. Um, because usually they don't really like the UK. Oh, I'm so worried it's going to happen again. So I'm dreading the televote for the UK. Um, yeah. But 
I don't, I don't maybe night will help it. I, I don't know. It's between two slow songs which might help it. Oh, I don't know. And Suri is such a, it's got a lovely personality. I know you juries do vote for this, but I really would like more televotes this year. If you don't live in the UK and can vote for the United Kingdom, please do. We've got a very nice song. I'm not begging, I just would love to win. I would just love to see Eurovision live. London would be such a great place to ho hold Eurovision. We haven't got anything special in 2019 in the UK that's happening next year. So it would be quite nice if you could vote for the UK, please. We haven't won in 21 years and I would love to see somebody win. Please. I'm, I'm not begging, I just would like some votes, at least. Please. She's a very nice woman. Please vote for Surrey. Oh well. Um, <laughs> so, obviously I'm going to be rooting for Surrey, the UK. Deep down I do want that to win. Hopefully it won't be in the bottom five. Hopefully I would live for top 20. If the UK doesn't win, obviously my next... Obviously, obviously I really do want the UK to win. Because you really want your own country to win Eurovision at deep down at the end of the day, unless you don't want to toast it next year. Um, who, who are my, who do I think has got a good chance of winning? Israel's favourite. I think Ireland could do well, because they're only third, because they're third to last in the running order. I thought they would be quite earlier on in the second half, but actually they've got a good position, so they could be the dark horse, Ireland. Cyprus, I really think it's going to do well. Finland, Sara Alto, I really hope she does well. Um, yes, I loved her on X Factor. I'm so glad she got through to grand final. She's got a wonderful song. Good luck to her. She's performing 17th. And Australia, I'm really... Jessica Melboy, as I mentioned before, I really hope she does well as well. Um, yes. Apart from the UK, who do I think is going to win? I really think it's going to be Cyprus. Unless, I don't know. So yeah, that's who I think is going to win. The, um, well, that's what I think on um, Saturday. Um, please comment down below. Please subscribe. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think, think of the UK? Thanks so much. And before I sign out and say goodbye, from all of us from the UK, everybody here in the United Kingdom and everybody supporting you. I just want to say good luck, Surrey. Good luck.